let's look at the big picture here, the big picture. We have all been lied to, and not just today. The ugly truth is that President Trump and his aides have deliberately deceived the American people with false statements and shifting explanations. More than 3,000 lies since this president took the oath of office. Lies about Stormy Daniels, when President Trump on Air Force One claimed he didn't know about the hush money Michael Cohen paid to silence her. Listen to, this is what Sarah Sanders, her trying to dance around Jim Acosta's question about that just today. You said on March 7th, uh, there was no knowledge of any payments from the president, and he's denied all of these allegations. Were you lying to us at the time, or were you in the dark? Uh, the president has denied and continues to deny the underlying claim. And again, I've given the best information I had at the time. And I would refer you back to the comments that you yourself just mentioned uh, a few minutes ago about the timeline from that, Mayor Giuliani. More lies about North Korea when President Trump tweeted that the Obama administration was unable to get three Americans released, even though two of those Americans were detained with Trump in the White House. Even lies about the size of his inaugural crowd. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. That was the first day, remember that? As the Washington Post reports today, quote, it has become standard operating procedure for Trump and his aides to deceive the public with false statements and shifting accounts. In other words, lies. You are being deceived almost every single day. There's a long list of presidents, the president's false statements from the Washington Post. The president claimed that he passed the biggest tax cut in history. That's not true. He claimed Democrats don't care about DACA. Not true. He claimed his promised border wall is already being built. That's a lie. Took credit for three million jobs created since the election, including 300,000 new jobs in manufacturing, even though he didn't take office until almost three months later, and the number of manufacturing jobs created in his presidency is about 260,000. Claimed he has essentially gotten rid of Obamacare. He hasn't. He claimed the United States has spent $7 trillion on wars in the Middle East. That's a made-up number. He claimed the U.S. trade deficit with China is $500 billion. It's $300 billion. He claimed he accomplished more in his first year than any other president, even though he actually signed fewer bills in his first year than any president since Eisenhower. And the list goes on and on and on. When the president so often says things that turn out not to be true, when the president of the White House show what appears to be a blatant disregard for the truth. How are the American people to trust or believe what is said here or what is said by the president? Uh, we give the very best information that we have at the time. Uh, I do that every single day and will continue to do that uh, every day I'm in this position. But facts matter. They used to. They should. And this administration is not giving you the facts. The question is, do you care? Are you okay with being conned by this White House, being lied to by the people whose salaries you pay, the people who are supposed to put the interest of the country first, not the personal interest of a president, with one mess after another to be cleaned up? Are you okay with that? Think about that.